Good morning, today's video is really interesting. I asked the top WordPress pros in the world a simple question, which was Gutenberg, yes or no? 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 Gutenberg, yes or no, and why? So the answers are really, really insightful. Gutenberg has been really controversial over the last two years, so it's great to get a sense of what people think about it now and also what's planned for it in the future. This video is actually taken from a much longer video that I produced pre-Christmas, and I've edited that down to just take out the Gutenberg answers for you. I've also asked some other WordPress pros what they think about Gutenberg, so there's some brand new content in, in here as well. I would also love to hear what you think about Gutenberg, so just stick your comments in the comments below, because it's great to get a sense of what everyone thinks about it at the moment. So I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. Let's get into it. Gutenberg, yes or no? Yes, all the way yes. Uh, took me a long time, took me two years to get to the point where I said, okay, I can, I can give it a shot. I like it, I like how clean it is. The thing that I love most is the ability to create a block of content, save it off somewhere, and then dynamically drop it into posts based on rules. Right, so I can say if this is a member, and you can go look at, you know, if you go to chrissummer.com slash blog and then you see membership and you click it and you start looking at membership posts, before the third H2, before the third heading, there's often a block that drops in that says, which is the right membership plugin for you? That little bit of content is now a block and that block can be put anywhere you want and you can put timer restrictions on it, visibility restrictions on it, placement restrictions on it, rules for when it appears. That's the whole benefit of Gutenberg is that it it breaks everything apart into these blocks that then you can use and reuse as you like. Gutenberg, yes or no? In my case, I got to say it's a yes and a no. The reasons are yes, because it's the future of what we're going to do with WordPress. So we kind of have to embrace this whether we like it or not. And it is getting slightly better. But no because we still have to rely upon third-party tools to make it truly usable for most use cases. So for me, it's a yes and a no at the same time. Bug, yes or no. So for me, it's a simple and super biased hard yes, because Newsletter Glue, the plugin that I run, works off of Gutenberg. Yeah, so we are just kind of super tightly integrated into Gutenberg. So of course for me, again, very biased, but for me, I like the Gutenberg project and I'm a huge fan of where it's going. Gutenberg, yes or no? Oh man, I used Gutenberg when it came out of the gate in 5.0. And I say yes, I guess it's a yes because I've used it for a long time. Now, oddly enough, the rebuild of my site, I'm using Beaver Builder a lot for my pages and my posts, which is cool because it works and it's fitting the need I have right now. But Gutenberg, I love it. I sympathize with everybody else that has had struggles with it. I know that, you know, the builders I deal with, they've had to do it on that side of things. And yeah, I, I can feel for you. Uh, other people that are doing uh, client work, you know, agencies that are doing sites, you have to deal with this and your clients. Yeah, I feel for them too and just new users or people that are used to, I guess, really the old editor, classic editor and having to move over. But you know, we're in the tech world, things gotta change. And I think it's for the better and I think there's a lot of potential. So it's definitely a yes. I love using it. Actually my workflow, when I was using it a lot more, uh, improved compared to the old classic editor, which a lot of people have said just the opposite. Gutenberg, yes or no, and why? Obviously, yes, 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 we can't wait. Um, it's tough, it's been a long road, um, a lot of changes happened, but I think it's just um, important for WordPress being there for such a long time and obviously also um, a lot of WordPress users rely on us developers creating the best experience on the web for them possible. So I'm pro Gutenberg because I think it's important to evolve and um, even if it's not an easy road to go, uh, changing something that has been there for long. Um, so, um, but I'm obviously pro Gutenberg. So yeah, that's my answer. As far as Gutenberg, heck yes. Uh, I'm obsessed with blocks and building uh, block plugins and themes and websites and eventually I'm gonna move all of my stuff over 
Um, once everything stabilizes and full site editing comes out here soon, uh, every I'm gonna be a Gutenberg only shop. I think uh, it's really lightweight, sites load super fast. I think it's gonna really speed up the build process for uh, building and launching, you know, not just simple sites, but more complex sites as the Gutenberg ecosystem grows. So Gutenberg, yes or no. So I'm a huge Gutenberg fanboy. Uh, I'll be the first one to say that uh, it's got its issues, it's new technology, um, but I kind of see it as the, definitely see it as the future of WordPress. That's not to say that the past was bad or wrong or anything. It's just that there's a lot of great new functionality that's coming to WordPress that I think will, from a user perspective, user perspective, uh, eventually really improve the way that we work with WordPress websites. Um, Gutenberg, yes or no? The Gutenberg block editor is the future of the core software. There is no doubt about that. So you can decide that you're gonna get on board because of that, or you can decide that you're gonna leverage the array of plugins and page builders or whatever you want that people use to do WordPress the way that they like to do it. Bear in mind though, that while Gutenberg block editor is the future right now, the future isn't going and buying or installing four or five different block packs to try and bridge the gap between the things that the block editor doesn't do yet that it will do in the future. Adding all of those extra bloat and plugins right now is just a moment in time. That isn't the future. So if you are going all in on Gutenberg, maybe you wanna wait a little bit, watch Jamie's channel, He'll keep you up to date and you'll know when it is the right time for you to jump over or if it's never the right time for you. And if not, don't worry, you've got tons of choice out there. Gutenberg, yes or no, and why? Uh, again, another loaded question. Gutenberg is, uh, it's here to stay. Obviously, um, I wanna stop saying that. I hope we all stop saying that because it's been years. Uh, and uh, I do like where it's headed. It's taking a lot longer to smooth some of the most obvious rough edges uh, to put it politely. And uh, the, you know, basic things like dragging and dropping blocks into columns and setting up columns are still something that are, is a struggle and it shouldn't be. Um, I think it's a fantastic tool to be available in core WordPress, but there are tools out there like Beaver Builder that are page builders that have their opinion on building pages. And I think what uh, we'll see is page builders will not go away, that there will be an opinionated way to approach building themes and uh, vote with your dollars. If you really like something like a Beaver Builder, keep your license going. Um, but at the end of the day, Gutenberg is really powerful. It will become really powerful. And at the end of the day, we'll give a lot of our end users of WordPress some um, strong flexibility and some really nice features uh, for building a website with WordPress. Gutenberg, yes or no, and why? Really uh, tough, tough question. I'm. But I am a firm yes, actually. I think it's been it's been a pretty painful process, and especially at High Rise Digital, we've we've struggled. We've we've wanted to adapt, and we've tried to adapt, um, and we're still trying, and we're still working at it. And it's been a lot of work, and it's been quite a lot of pain. Um, but but when I build websites now, uh. I'm actually having a lot of fun building them. Apart from the frustrations, you know, things change, things break, and I can bang my head against the desk. But generally, I can do a lot more, or I can enable my clients to do a lot more. Um, there's some just really powerful stuff in there. You can do a lot with just the core blocks and some some a sprinkling of CSS on the top. It really is quite mind blowing how far you can get um, without actually having to do a whole lot of work. And it really does give clients just massive, massive flexibility. Marketing managers, I find absolutely love it because um, they don't want to have to commission us to design a new template, design and build a new template every time they have a new campaign. So we're getting pretty good feedback from clients in general. Um, and it is getting better, uh, mostly. <laughs> so for now, I'm a yes. Um, it's, like I say, it's been difficult, but I think... The future is pretty bright. And we do have to remember that as developers, I think we can be quite self-centered in the, in the sense that we want WordPress to be a developer product. We, we want it to be great to develop on. 
but really the end goal is the end user. It's the person writing the content, um, publishing content, like the, the owners of the websites. So I do think that the experience in general is probably better, or, or at least it will be in the right hands. Gutenberg, yes or no? From my point of view, it's a huge yes. Because from the very beginning, while I'm just writing content with the classic editor, I have to rely on so many third-party plugins to make a lucrative uh, content. But with the help of the block editor from the WordPress 5.0, I just create an extraordinary lucrative blog post for my website. As for example, you can see when I, uh, in the classic editor, you have to use the HTML code to add a simple CTA to your blog post, which is really absurd in my sense because I am just here to writing content. I am not doing, I'm not here to write, do coding. So now you will get a blog button blog which will help you to create a lucrative button for your blog post. And CTA is a necessary thing for a blog. Also, you can see if you uh, want to uh, add a table, uh, we have to rely on uh, third-party table plugins. Now there is a simple table in the Gutenberg block editor. You can add a lucrative table to your website, to your blog content. WordPress 5.9, you will get the full site editing features like the Elementor and other page builders. So you can customize your default theme in an advanced way. Uh, simply Gutenberg, yes or no? Um, I mean, you might know, but I, I've been all in on Gutenberg for a while now, and, and that's not changing. There's still a lot of work to do, particularly around the fine tuning of the editing flow and the full site editing experience all around. Uh, but I am confident that we're moving in the right direction. Uh, in all, I'm just incredibly thankful to be part of this era of WordPress, and uh, I'm really excited for what's coming up next. As far as Gutenberg goes, I am Gutenberg all day long. I friggin' love it. At first, I was a little bit hesitant, but mainly because it's a better writing experience. It gets a little wonky at times, and so to be expected would be my guess, but I love it. I think it's a cleaner writing experience. It's distraction-free, so to speak. I love that you can add elements into your content super easily. So from a, a content perspective, I absolutely love Gutenberg. When it comes to Gutenberg and the future of WordPress, I'm all in. Even though it took me a little bit of time to get used to the block editor in the beginning, these days I think it's one of the most powerful ways to create just about any type of page layout you can imagine. And most of the new users of WordPress that we encounter love it and find that it's actually very intuitive to use and that enables them to create just about any type of website that they want. So I'm bullish on the future of Gutenberg and the block editor, particularly once we see what full site editing holds in store for us during this coming year. So Gutenberg, yes or no? So I'm still on the fence on Gutenberg. I've tried it a couple of times and, and uh, tried to even start building a, a website with it and then went back to page builders. So I know that there is a mindset shift that needs to happen uh, in order for you to take advantage of the functionality of Gutenberg. But I'm still going to stay on the fence for another year or so to see how this product evolves before I'm uh, jumping in and uh, changing a bunch of websites that are already designed with uh, previous tools. Gutenberg, yes or no? Well, I think probably a few of my previous answers uh, spoiled my answer for this, which is yes, I am all in on Gutenberg and the block editor. I have courses on how to use the block editor and full site editing, especially I'm really excited for full site editing and where that's going to take theme development. I've been making WordPress themes since 2004 and I cannot wait to see what people do with full site editing and theme.json to really focus on creating beautiful themes instead of getting caught up in, in all of the, we'll say under the hood wiring of core. So Gutenberg, yes, it is the way WordPress is going. And I think the fewer dependencies we can have on external tools and the easier we can make development for people is just all good. So Gutenberg, yes or no? Even I'm from the page builder business, uh, Gutenberg is definitely yes for me because it's a uh, evolution in uh, WordPress uh, 
WordPress is getting better. And also Gutenberg pushes uh, visual editors to become better, to introduce new features, to become faster and uh, use new te technologies like React.js, for example. Uh, Gutenberg, yes. It's obvious, isn't it? It's built in. It's going to be WordPress. It's going to change people's lives, the way they develop websites. And um, you're doing great stuff on your um, WooCommerce plugins and Gutenberg blocks and educating people. So, yeah, Gutenberg, be a twit not to try it out. Gutenberg is getting better every day, and it's pretty exciting to see uh, what it will like what will happen with that in the future, but we feel that it's still immature and uh, changing too rapidly with potential backward compatibility breaks. So we can't really rely and put our production environments relying on Gutenberg. So at this stage, we prefer to use other more stable uh, page builders. Gutenberg, it uh, doesn't matter if it's yes or no, I'm known for kind of being a naysayer, but I was always a naysayer about the timeline. What I love about Gutenberg is copy and paste from Google Docs without the span codes. So I hope you found those useful and interesting. If you did, if you can hit the like button now, that would be amazing because it really helps spread the word of the channel. Also, every time you do hit the like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs> So thank you again for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button because then every time I release a brand new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again. Keep well and I'll see you soon.